Good morning and good day. Welcome to our devotional for the 21st day of Lent. Today, our theme is For When You Feel Forgotten by God. As I said the last day or two, we're crossing over the halfway point in our observance of this season, and Lent is a time for us to stop and look inside and to look to God and to look around us. We've had examples of all of those during this time. Today, our scripture reading comes from Psalm 13. This is a psalm that King David wrote, and uh, the subtitle on it, which is not actually part of the scripture itself, but it's kind of like a pointer for the text, says, this is a prayer for help. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lord, will you forget about me forever? When will you remember to come and help me? My thoughts make me worry all the time. How long must I continue to be sad? How long will my enemies continue to win against me? Lord, please listen to me. I feel that I am nearly dead. Please give me the strength to live. If I die, my enemies will say, we have won against him. My enemies will be very happy if I fall. But I will trust you because of your faithful love. Please make me safe so that I can be happy and thank you. Yes, I will sing to praise the Lord, because God will surely help me. We may not face the same kind of danger that David did. He was literally being pursued by people who wanted to take his life, people who were rebelling against his leadership. But we kind of get that feeling sometimes, don't we, when everything's pressing against me and there are life situations or maybe there are people that are working to see our downfall. What a powerful psalm, Psalm 13 is. Kate Bowler asks us to ask the question today. The psalmist says, I am shaken. Is that true in your life? with things that are going on right now, or you can remember a time when you felt so shaken. As we pause and realize that we can again trust in God, that it begins with our opening up and calling out to God, the action that Kate suggests today is to make a list of the people places, and circumstances in your lives and in the lives of your family, your friends, and your community that are aching for restoration. That I just say that's a really good thought. When we do feel forgotten, when we do feel broken, when we do feel threatened, to remember that we are not the only ones feeling that way. We live in a world that feels that way. Kate suggests that we pray the words of Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. That you pray this prayer over this list, or if you have time, to just go one by one to pray name by name. That's the prayer that says, the Lord bless and keep, and then you put in the name. Let's just use John today because I could use this prayer. The Lord bless and keep John. The Lord make his face shine upon John and be gracious to John. The Lord lift up his countenance upon John and give John peace. That's an excellent prayer exercise. Start with your own name and then just Put the names and the situations and uh, the, the things in your life that, that come to mind. Just put them straight into that Bible prayer. 
Our closing prayer today is another breath prayer. When you breathe in, you pray, I am shaken. And when you breathe out, but I trust in your steadfast love. I am shaken. But I trust in your steadfast love. Amen. Thanks for joining today. I hope you'll come again tomorrow, our 22nd day in Lent. Today, wherever you are and whatever's going on with you, I pray God will bless you.